Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my reading plans for April. My reading plans for April are extremely light. Um, there are no readathons. I know, who am I? There are no readathons. Yeah, so I'm a bit light on uh, reading plans this month. I really only have a plan for um, the book club, Cozy Book Co, run by Jess McGlynn. Um, try and leave the links down in the um, comments um, below. Um, if you want to investigate and join us. Our pick for the month of April, and I have to say this could be a DNF before I even start, is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, I've not had a lot of success with Dickens as an adult. Reread David Copperfield um, a couple of years ago and I ended up DNFing that. Um, I was given Dickens as a 10 year old and I don't think that's the best decision in the world. Um, I would not advocate for giving your 10 year old Dickens regardless of how advanced they are as a reader. Um, but also, again, I read A Tale of Two Cities as a 10 year old and I don't think I fully comprehended what it was about at that time. If you don't know, it's set during the time of the French Revolution and it's set across London and Paris, um, which is why it's called A Tale of Two Cities. And other than that, I don't really remember what it's about. And I haven't looked at the synopsis to get any further detail about who potentially are the main characters. I have a vague recollection of a description of beheading um, uh, using the guillotine. Um, and yeah, I just don't get on with, other than A Christmas Carol, which I managed to successfully reread quite regularly, um, I don't get on with the rest of Dickens' works. They're just not for me. So I'm not sure if I'm going to read it or not. So I'm going to apologise now. I know um, that uh, Jess and Susie and Chrissy do watch my videos. Uh, so if you're watching this, I apologise now because potentially I'm not going to be joining you. Or I might do what I've done in the past and join in with the discussion just to hear your thoughts on it, even though I might not have read it myself. So... Yeah, I might be starting with a DNF before I get anywhere. Uh, other than that, the only other book that I want to try and get to this month um, is because of a pre-order that I've placed, recently placed, with uh, Waterstones. And that's because it's a pre-order for a sequel and it's because I have the first book and I want the sequel to match the second book. Um... So I do need to pick this one up. And that book is Threadneedle by Carrie Thomas. I have had this book on my shelf since it came out. Um, I have the signed copy from Waterstones with the pretty sprayed edges. Um, and Shadow Stitch, is, which is the second book, is coming out in June, I think. Um, but I think it's fairly early in June. So I want to at least get this started in April if I don't finish it. Um, I have completely forgotten what it's about. I think it's uh, magical realism um, slash fantasy. Uh, and yeah, let's just read the synopsis together, shall we? Anna's aunt has always warned her of the dangers of magic. It's twists, it's knots, it's deadly consequences. Now Anna counts down the days to the ceremony that will bind her magic forever until she meets Effie and Attis. They open her eyes to a London she never knew existed. A shop that sells memories, a secret library where the librarian feeds off words, a club where revellers lose themselves in a haze of spells. But as she is swept deeper into this world, Anna begins to wonder if her aunt was right all along. Is her magic a gift or a curse? So I don't know that that actually tells me very much about the story other than um, a young woman discovering a world that she wasn't fully aware of um and all the twists and turns that come with that so yeah so I'm looking for it's quite a chunker it is over 500 pages um it has a little green tab on it because it's a book I haven't read yet um and yeah I just I <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this which is why I want the sequel um 
and why I want the sequel to match because it'll be in hard this is in hardback if I collect series uh, in physical form I prefer to have them all in the same format hardback or paperback so that they can sit together on my shelves um, because I keep my paperbacks and hardback separated um, so yeah so looking forward to picking this one up um, and that's the only other firm plan that I have for the month other than that I have a couple of loose ideas so something I did in March which you'll hear about in my March wrap up is I set up this page in my reading journal this is a list of all the authors that are going to uh, the Four Brits Book Fest signing in July which I have a ticket for um, there is actually a second page to this um, and what I'm going to be doing is every month I'm going to try and read um, some of the authors off of this I have a spinny wheel set up and yeah I'm I'm reading them and I'm colour coding them according to the priority that I want to meet them at the signing if they are coloured black though that means that since this list was drawn up the author has announced that they won't be there uh, which is quite sad because Kylie Kent was uh, attending and um, she's getting quite the following now on YouTube um, and becoming very, very popular. Um, so I was really hoping to get to her books and to read a couple at least. Um, so yeah, so I, I did read some in March, uh, which you'll hear about in my March wrap up. And I'm hoping to maybe do a similar sort of thing. I dedicated a week to it in March. I'm thinking of doing the same in April. Um, and yeah, just try and get some more of them read and see if there are any more authors that I really want to, to get to and meet because virtually none of the authors on this list have I read from before. Um, so I'm looking forward to um, finding that out as well. And other than that, um, I used to belong to a couple of Patreons and uh, for financial reasons I had to uh, stop subscribing to them. One of those was Steph at Steph Loves and she runs a monthly readathon at F1 Readathon. I really like F1. Admittedly, I haven't watched a single race yet this year, uh, but that's because I've been having issues with my laptop and every time there's a race on, my laptop has been getting fixed. Uh, that has been resolved, so I am hoping to start watching the races uh, from now on. Anyway, there will be a round this month, and Steph, very kindly on um, a public live show recently, Public Sprints, um, recently said when that was going to be, um, because I expressed my regret that I couldn't join in because I'm no longer in the di in the um, Patreon. Um and what I thought I might do is for the whole of that weekend is I have some Formula One themed uh, romance novels and I thought I might try to read those that month. Uh, well, that month, that weekend, I mean. Um, I probably could find enough F1 romances to uh, fill out a month, but uh, I think I'd probably get bored quite quickly if I did that. Um, I do like to ha mix up my my themes in romance when I'm uh, when I'm binging them. So, so yeah. So those are the actual firm ish book plans. The only other plan I have for the month, and this has been inspired by. A challenge that happens um, it, it's not anything that you formally have to join but quite a few people will attempt to do 30 books in 30 days in April and I'm not even going to try um, if I mean I, I think I've had months where I've got close to that before um, especially when I was really heavily reading romance novels um, but yeah, I don't know that I don't know that I could do that. I think I'd quite quickly get burnt out by the reading if I attempted to do that now. So what I'm going to attempt to do instead is 3,000 pages in 30 days, which just means I have to read an average of 100 pages a day, um, 700 pages a week. And um, yeah, I mean, that's that's entirely doable for me. I read somewhere between two and a half and four thousand pages a month. Um, so to read three thousand pages a month, it's it's not going to be overly a stretch for me. Uh, 
and yeah i'm looking forward to giving that a try and see how that turns out um there is another challenge that goes around in april and that is a video every day in april i will never take part in that i can barely get one video to a month so don't even uh ask about the potential of that one because it will not be happening um but yeah those are all the plans that i have for the month um what are you planning on reading in april let me know in the comments box down below are you going to take part in 30 days and um 30 books in 30 days or some variation of that type uh let me know i'd like to uh, give you all the support that i can um in that endeavor because i think we all need it um i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already and want to see more of me in your feed then don't forget to subscribe as well and i look forward to seeing you in my next one bye mm -hmm.